sculptures, paintings and other unique pieces in the Indonesian capital and hundreds of people taking a look. The country's art scene appears to be roaring back to life after surviving a two-year hiatus due to COVID-19. Uh, the most important thing is uh, to show that the art market is strong, uh, that there's demand and that um, collectors are back buying art. Esti Nurjadin owns a gallery in South Jakarta. She says many artworks need to be seen in person to be fully appreciated. If you're here, you know the depth, you can see and then you can imagine if this work, you know, um, will be shown at your place or your someone's office or, or a collector's house. At this year's fair, there's a greater focus on artworks from Bali as a way of supporting artists and galleries there. Many on the island faced financial hardship when COVID-19 prevented tourists from visiting. As in many countries, Indonesia's visual arts scene was hit hard by the pandemic. Galleries were closed and had to exhibit their collections online. Now with the return of one of the region's largest art festivals, many are optimistic about the industry's revival. More than 60 galleries from Indonesia and elsewhere in Asia are participating, eager to meet collectors and artists from around the world in person. It's not only the artists, but those who display art, like galleries and art management. Everyone is excited to work together again. While many celebrate a return to the way things were, there's also room for incarnations not seen before. NFTs are at the fair for the first time. Non-fungible tokens are one-of-a-kind digital assets usually paid for with cryptocurrency. Bali-based French artist Cyril Congo, known for his distinct graffiti style, is branching into NFTs. Yeah, it's the new process for me. That's the, that, uh, the new currencies new process yeah it's really exciting it's about to have to to put your brain on it to put the energy with new artists new modes and new pieces on display the fair is a dynamic celebration of the resilience of the industry and the tantalizing hints of what's yet to come jessica washington al jazeera jakarta